Hurricane Irma is blasting up the west coast of Florida and is now bearing down on the city of Tampa. Irma made landfall on Marco Island off Florida's west coast with winds of up to 120 miles per hour, 192 kilometers per hour, but has since been downgraded from Category 3 to 2. More than 3.4 million homes in the state are without power, and parts of the city of Miami are underwater. Three storm-related deaths have been reported, as Irma moves northwards. In an update at 3 o'clock GMT Monday, the National Hurricane Center, NHC, says hurricane conditions are continuing across portions of the central Florida peninsula. Irma currently has maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour, 160 kilometers per hour, the NHC says, with a wind gust of 96 miles per hour reported in Clearwater Beach and one of 91 miles per hour recorded in Egmont Channel. The storm was earlier pummeling the area around the city of Fort Myers. Irma has already devastated parts of the Caribbean, killing at least 28 people. Some 6.3 million people in Florida had been told to evacuate. President Donald Trump has approved a major disaster declaration and emergency federal ad for Florida. He described the hurricane as a big monster, praising the federal agencies involved with the storm and saying he would go to the state very soon. We may have been a little bit lucky in that it went on the west, and it may not have been quite as disruptive, but we're going to see, it's going to play out over the next five or six hours, Mr. Trump added. At 5 o'clock GMT, the center of the hurricane was about 15 miles, 20 kilometers, southwest of Lakeland, a town 32 miles northeast of Tampa. Some 3 meters people live in the Tampa Bay area. The region has not been hit by a major hurricane since 1921. Irma is now losing strength, the NHC says predicting that Irma will become a tropical storm over far northern Florida or southern Georgia on Monday. On the forecast track, the center of Irma will continue to move over the western Florida peninsula through Monday morning and then into the southeastern United States late Monday and Tuesday. The storm made landfall at Marco Island at 15.35 local time, 19.35 GMT. The NHC earlier tweeted that people in the area of Naples and Marco Island should move away from the coast as storm surges of up to 15 feet, 4.5 meters, were possible. How did it arrive in Florida? After leaving the coast of Cuba, Irma barreled through the Florida Keys, a chain of low-lying islands to the south, on Sunday morning. Media reports say a man was killed on Saturday in the Keys when his truck crashed into a tree as the outer bands of the storm arrived. The whole of the southern tip of Florida has seen high winds, driving rain and storm surges. About two feet of water has been seen in Miami's financial district, where one major street resembled river, but the worst damage is expected on the west coast. Two cranes have collapsed in high winds in the city. Which other areas have already been hit? Irma is the most powerful Atlantic storm in a decade, and has already caused widespread destruction on several Caribbean islands. Cuba, officials have talked of significant damage, without giving further details, but no casualties have been reported. Electricity is out across the capital, Havana. St. Martin and Esteb Ardelemy, 6 out of 10 homes on St. Martin an island shared between France and the Netherlands, are now uninhabitable, French officials say. They said nine people had died and seven were missing in the French territories, while four are known to have died in Dutch St. Maiton. Turks and Caicos Islands, widespread damage, although extent unclear. Barbuda, the small island is said to be barely habitable, with 95% of the buildings damaged. Antigua and Barbuda Prime Minister Gaston Brown estimates reconstruction will cost $100 million, £80 million. One death has been confirmed. Anguilla, extensive damage with one person confirmed dead. Puerto Rico, 
More than 6,000 residents of the U.S. territory are in shelters and many more without power. At least three people have died. British Virgin Islands, widespread damage reported, and five dead. U.S. Virgin Islands, damage to infrastructure was said to be widespread, with four deaths confirmed. Haiti and the Dominican Republic, both battered by the storm, but neither had as much damage as initially feared.